Avengers 2 Blinding here, and with Armored Warfare going public in just a few hours now, you're probably wondering which is the best tier 8 tank, and what line should you bother grinding? So in this video we are going to look at all the different tier 8 tanks, well, not all of them, I'm not going to show you the artillery because I wouldn't want to dare be caught dead encouraging anyone to play artillery. So we're just going to look at the eight regular tanks. And first up is the Ariette. And there are four main battle tanks. Yes, half of the tier 8 tanks are main battle tanks. And the Ariette is one, and it's probably the worst of the four. So if you're a newer player, you'll probably want to go with the Leopard 2A5. Or if you're a more experienced player, you'll probably want the T90 instead. But if you're a newer player, yeah, definitely go with the Leopard 2A5 or the M1A1 Abrams. Now next up, we're going to look at the Warrior. And back in the Alpha and Beta, early Beta tests, the Warrior was just absolutely horrible. And obviously, the stats must have been terrible because they buffed it massively and it went from being probably the worst tank in the game to being actually a decent tank now. There is no tier 8 scout. The closest thing you get is the warrior and it plays really more like an AFD. It's got a six round auto loader that originally took about 10 seconds to reload a clip but now it only takes about five seconds. And the Warrior also, it has no armor to speak of, but there are a couple different armor upgrades you can get, uh, like a cage and ERA, I believe. So once you have it fully unlocked, it's it'll actually bounce a few shots here and there. And with the autoloader, it has tremendous burst damage, and like you see here, if you can get behind a tank and unload, in just a few seconds you can take half of an enemy tank's life from them. So if you like if you like to play scouts and recon vehicles, the warrior is probably your best choice. Although actually the weasel or the VBL actually the tier six and tier seven are actually better scout choices than the warrior. But if you like AFDs, play the warrior. And now next up we're gonna look at M1128 mobile gun system, which is the only TB at tier 8. And it's wheeled, so it's obviously a lot harder to control than the track tanks. And also because it's wheeled, it gets a tremendous top speed. Like all the tank destroyers, they can all go like 100 kilometers an hour. But of course it takes a while to get up to speed like that. And the, the M1128 has probably the best gun in the game. It reloads tremendously fast, it has decent penetration, and it does great alpha damage. So if you'd like to shoot and snipe, the M1128 is the one for you. Now next up we will look at the T90. Now if you like main battle tanks, and you know what you're doing, this is probably your favorite tank. It has a great combination of mobility, armor, and a great gun. And it even gets upgrades, so you can get even better armor. <laughs> so in the hands of experts, the T90 is probably the most dangerous tank out there because it, it's almost impossible for most tanks to penetrate from the front, yet it's still quick enough that you can't even circle it if you're in a, a recon vehicle or an AFV. It can turn its turret and hull way too fast. So the last thing you want to see if you're coming one of one against someone is a T9. It's almost unstoppable one on one. Now next up is the Ramp Bmop Bramka 99, and this is probably the most unique tank 
and if you like to troll people, it's probably the most troll tank in the game. Although, it's also one of the weaker tier 8s. Uh, you're not gonna love this tank. It gets a choice of missiles or this machine gun, auto-loading auto-cannon. And the missiles, you get a salvo of about four that shoot every two seconds and have about a thousand penetration. But, like always, the missiles are usually a bad choice, and there's better choices out there. Now, next up, we have the Leo 2A5, and it is probably the most armored brick of a tank in the game. Although, you've got to be very careful when playing it, because it has a bunch of uh, prominent weak spots that a lot of people know about, so... If you're facing a tank from the front that doesn't know your weak spots, you'll be impenetrable. But against uh, an expert, you'll be in trouble and you'll have to keep moving back and forth to cover your weak spots and not allow them to zoom in and aim. So if you're a newer player, player the Leo 2A5 is probably your best choice, because it has a great combination of armor and a good gun, and you'll be able to bounce quite a few shots and you'll be able to survive, so it'll be a good choice for the newer players. Now next up, we are looking at the Tier 8 light tank, the XM-8. It plays like, like you'd expect the Tier 8 version of the Stingray, or the Stingray 2 to play. It's fast and maneuverable, and it's got a really good gun. But it's not quite as OP as those earlier tanks. Like most tier 8 tanks tend to be, if they were as overpowered as each tier before it, they would just dominate and no one would play anything else. So tier 8 tanks tend to be good, but nowhere near that good. But the XM8 will be a favorite of expert players who will be able to overcome the lack of armor and will enjoy the speed and maneuverability of this tank. And finally, we have the M1A1 Abrams, which is probably the third best of the four main battle tanks. Although it's got a lot of armor, so if you're a newer player, it's probably a good choice for you, it or the Leopard 2A5, because you'll be able to survive a bit longer in the Abrams than you will in... or, or the T90, or the Leo than you will in some other tanks. So that was all the Tier 8 tanks in Armored Warfare. See you on the battlefield.